Well, for Count Hugo's claims. My nephew. Now, Hugo would get it, and I would get a weak hook. Um... Yeah, no, that, that's looking weird. I guess we could go on a pilgrimage now. Unless I want to save the money to just develop our, our lands. What do you think? Go kill the guy who decided not to pay all his taxes? What, my best friend? How could I do that to Gilbert? Pilgrimage become naked. Oh, everyone wants the pilgrimage. All right. So our second pilgrimage of our life. Uh, let's go. We want to go all the way to Jerusalem this time. It's the most expensive. All right, let's go to Jerusalem. We're going to Jerusalem. We're going to Jerusalem. To the Holy Land. All right. Way over here. Pilgrimage reflection. Out here, late at night, I sometimes look at to the stars and wonder, can God even see me this far from home? What am I doing all this for? Yeah, you're right. The problem is that you've moved from here to somewhere over here at this point, and God doesn't look here or something. I don't know. Like, wait, what? What kind of God do you believe in? It's like, he loses track of you? Come on. All right. God would wish... Oh, what am I doing all this to? God would wish me to. I'd become de a dedicated pilgrim for 10 years. More piety. Okay. What I truly want is to see foreign lands. I will lose stress and become a worldly pilgrimage. Plus two diplomacy for 10 years. Now that's handy. It's all a sake for appearances. Theatrical pilgrimage. No, this is perfect. Lose some stress. Worldly pilgrimage sounds fantastic. Let's do it. Did I click on Cologne? Instead of Jerusalem? I thought I clicked on Jerusalem. Oh, okay. My bad. Oh, you're discovering that other people aren't doing their job of taxes, huh, buddy? I gotta say, Gilbert's pretty effective. I don't need a hook. Well, I mean, again, I could turn the hook into money, but I could also just turn the hook into money through taxes. I booked the wrong flight. Okay. I did lose the gold. Well, maybe not all of it. Bandits! Under attack. Where's my sword? Okay. It's a coin flip. Coin flip for aspiring blade master versus wounded. Somewhere I can hide. Lose prestige. Still coin flip become wounded. Stop this madness. I'll pay whatever I want. No, man. Where's my sword? Aspiring blade master. Heck yeah. Oh, it's not an education trait. I see. So we've got one star level aspiring blade master. Nice. No, see, I'm in Jerusalem. See? I'm not the one who needs glasses. Here, you want to borrow it? Hang on, hang on. Where's my camera? Where, here. Let's 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 help you guys out here. There you go. You can't even see the glasses. They're too. Uh... Ooh. Ooh. Nifty. <sighs> you should know better. I never misread or misclick anything. Ever. Never happens. Anyway, it didn't happen this time, so that's good. No other city in the world has a history quite like Jerusalem. In addition to the other, uh, many other holy sites there, the city contains the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, built over the combined places where Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected. Standing outside the Temple Mount with my hand on the western wall, I find myself reflecting on everything that happened in, on my journey to the City of Legend. I have walked the holy path. 875 piety. And I get the de determined pilgrim thing for the extra piety. I'm known as dedication... Man. Oh, yeah! Yeah! I'm now a devoted servant of God, plus 10 Catholic clergy. The return. Journey's been a long one, but I finally come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed in how the priests and bishops treat me. I've undergone a journey of a holy man, and they insist it has changed something about me, whether I can see it or not. Bam. Good Catholic. Hashtag not a wish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> long took about five. Yeah, but how much time to go? We should have made note of the date when we left, and the date when we returned. I can call a hunt. Um, ooh, we can also ask for some gold. From my king, for my, my pope. Thank you for the hundred gold. Um, let me hold off on the hunt for a sec. I'm gonna do I'm gonna develop a little bit of my land here. Let's get some farm and fields in here too. Gotta feed the people and then have them pay me taxes. 
It's me in Portugal. Oh my god, look at these guys! They keep grabbing! They keep grabbing the little coastal provinces all over the place. I can't believe how much the Norse have established themselves over here. Something has to be done at some point. Make Gilbert the Great designated region? I don't think there is, like, designated region. There's not as many, um... There's, I don't think there's as many of the non-land titles, the minor titles and stuff. There is, like, the court physician. Um, I had always enjoyed that, you know, making someone master the horses, master the swan. But it was, while it, was, it felt good, it was pretty silly little micromanagement stuff. Dealing Portugal. Yeah, no, they're, um, they've been pretty busy, man. Yarldom of Yiland. Of Yiland. Yep, they've been pretty busy. Mike the girl is more likely to get good education. Excellent. Harsh judgment. Oh, lo lowly thief. Oh, it's same same sort of thing. Whether last revenant keeps the trait just. Oh, is he? He's just and temperate and rowdy. Um, we can s replace just with cynical or replace just with temperate, which he already has. No, man, keep keep just. It's going to be fine. Sweden, please unite Spain. Now that would be an interesting alt history. How colorful the map is. So nice. And it just feels like the game runs smoother than CK2. Which, I mean, it probably is like uses more CPU, but it's better sort of threaded and more responsive in things. Modern designs and whatnot. A little skirmishing going on here. Or Orleans looks weak. There. Okay, well, the duchy doesn't exist. Where's the county? Do not... Oh, there we go. Oh, there! Also, a new lifestyle perk. God, it's going fast. Vassal tax contribution. Uncome while at war. It's my domain. Exhort subject's decision. Decision offering different opportunities to demand extra gold from a subject at different costs. Let's take the, the hair geld first. Is it just gold without us having to do anything wonky? They move the map remnant to the main thread, or off the main thread. That's why speed five is so insanely fast. Uh -huh. From what I heard, a big improvement is kind of landed characters. Instead of creating new characters every time you try to invite someone, just sort of grabs wandering people. And that's one of the things they did to improve in uh, CK2 at some point. They did a giant performance pass that like called people and things. It was really remarkable. But yeah, there's just certain things about the old system that they couldn't necessarily update. This is just a count. I don't have a CB on him. We could look to maybe fabricate something. We do have a CB against Nostria, which we might use at some point. Lines is expiring. Okay, word of advice. Who are you? I saunter between... I don't saunter! Yeah, I saunter between the market stalls of Montague. A heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of a local jeweler. Exquisite filigree, a sound investment. Count... Galter of Nordlingen appears suddenly at my side. What advice, your highness? Have a look at the smithy over there. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. We can invest in a jeweler's workshop. Lose 30 gold. The holding gets a jeweler's workshop investment for 30 years, giving us prestige and taxes. Invest in the smithy. 30 gold. I might become friends and get the great smithy investment for 20% holding taxes. Instead of 10%. But it might fail. Or quick a turn turn a quick profit with some clever trades. What do you think? Jeweler or Smithy? I don't I think I'm gonna skip this. Jeweler or Smithy, which one do we want? 980 Vikings for Hurdy would be. Yeah, that's the thing. It playing like do it, taking the early start date means Vikings are terrifying. Okay, Smithy, good. Well, so there's a chance it might fail, but if it succeeds, it's gonna be better and we make a new friend. Hey! It totally worked. So Montague has a modifier right here. Great smithy investment. Mike, the girl comes of age. The genius. Four-star brilliant strategist. She's also an aggressive attacker. Arrogant, zealous, greedy. I like her. I like her a lot. Holy crap. Has to be your heir. She can't. Not unless she murders her brother. She needs to murder her brother, and then we could name her my heir. But has to take vows. Uh oof. 
23. Yeah, I, I want to be a, I want to be a Viking right now so I can make her into a shield maiden. 23 Marshall. Such a waste that we can't play her. Well, we're definitely keeping her and her kids and our family if we can. Maybe we just uh, earl them. Be nice to get a um, more useful ally. Perfect match for House Martell. Actually, yeah, at this point. Let's see here. Well, your oldest kid, Francois, is 10. Let's arrange a marriage with Mike the girl matrilineally. Oh, will not accept because of matrilineal. <sighs> what about your second kid? Also named Gilbert. Because he might not be inheriting anything, right? So how would you feel about a matrilineal marriage? There, that works. That would be interesting if we could get a hook on Gilbert. Um, we could spend our spy master there to see if he's got any secrets or anything like that. Yeah, if we had a hook, we might have been able to, even though it's his heir to it, matrilineal, I'm not sure. And then kill the other son. Well, um, we'd have to wait until they came of age and actually got married, because I think, despite a betrothal, there's a chance they would change their mind. But yeah, leave it. Let's let's do a matrilineal marriage with the second kid, one of the twins, who's bossy. He still he is going to have a press claim on the county of Anjou as well. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, we might still want to send our spy master there. Let's uncover some secrets. There might be some more we can do. Let's do something like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Still want to go and take this stuff back from, you know, from these vile Scandinavians. Like, ugh! I hear they like pickled fish. What's up with that? And salty licorice. Ew. All right. Mike the girl is betrothed to my son, Gilbert. Like he names his second son after himself. Not his first one. Yeah, acquisitions. Oh, what is wrong with you? You're scarred. Okay. Um, during the daily management realm, learn of several opportunities I can pursue. This is probably my stewardship lifestyle again. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically... Oh, yeah. So you're getting a lot of different um, event pop-ups depending on your lifestyle choices. I've heard rumors of a lost tome rediscovered. Coin flip. Either way, we end up with something. Potentially something quite good. Or Countess Puel can use my help managing her holdings. I get a hook on her. I'm shy, so it's stressy. Mindless villain. Arson. Hmm. Or securing these deals will fill my treasury. I mean, 75 gold is pretty... A pretty substantial amount. I hook her. Not my vassal. She's in West Francia, but she's not my vassal. So I can't use the hook to, like, change the tax obligation. I might be able to use money, but... I think we go for... Who doesn't love a good book? Lost knowledge, I think, yeah. Plus two stewardship, plus one learning. Oh, our domain limit is seven right now. And the learning boost is kind of nice as well. So many claims all over the place. Some get inherited, some don't. My sister here is, like, crushing it stat-wise. Oh, look at that. She's a two-star physician. I didn't realize she would level up as a court physician. That's amazing! I like that. Witchcraft? Blood-stained clothes, crow's feathers, strange-smelling concoctions. This is the evidence presented be, uh, to me by a group of villagers from Rain as proof that Ida has been practicing witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of her village. The villagers claim her evil work must be the cause of bad weather and calling for execution. I mean, everyone knows that's... She's a lunatic. <laughs> She's a genius, though. Oh, my God. Content villain. Shy, content, callous... Evidence of circumstantial release her. I'd get 300 experience, but crank up the peasants. I could burn her. It would stress me out. A witch, you say? I could use a new advisor. Wait, and she would join my court. <laughs> uh, oh, well, no wonder they think she's, she's a terrible person. She's gay. They're like, she refuses men. Clearly, she must be a witch. She's just an independent woman who don't need no man. Um, she does sound like she's probably a witch, though. 
<laughs> Hashtag totally not a witch. Loose piety. Intent villain. In no, I don't want her in her court. Everyone wants her to be. Everyone wants her to be recruited, though. But I like the XP. That's the problem. I mean, one and three both end up with the same um, upset peasants. So that's the same. So the question is 300 leadership, stewardship, um, lifestyle experience. Or this person gains the court. She does have a lot of learning. If she wasn't insane, I would put her as my new court physician. Now, we, we got to take uh, we got to take this. <laughs> Witches versus patriarchy rejoices. Exactly. We're just going to release her. We're just going to leave her to her life in the woods. I mean, haven't we all at some point looked around at the state of the world and thought, you know what? I'm living in a cabin in the woods. Screw all you guys. Boom. Done. Do, do, do. All right. So we're actually close to our next lifestyle pick, which is going to be nice. Detailed leisures. Yeah, so I don't know what order we're going to go things in. What is this? Men at arms maintenance decrease per dread. Yeah, we got to we gotta build up some dread at some point. Do we have any prisoners? No. Sister's still our court physician. She's not bad at it. Think of the power. Let her skill up some more on her own. Should have married her to Mike the girl. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Well, I think we're going to wrap up today's stream here. Again, we've been streaming for a little over five hours now. And I am done. I am fini. Absolutely done. Um, that was Monday. Normally we stream a motorsport manager on Monday, but this was a big deal. Normally we don't stream on Tuesday. And on Wednesday we were, we've been doing flight sim stuff. Keep an eye open for announcements as to what the streaming situation will be. Either th there might be something tomorrow, there might not. I might wake up with, like, no throat tomorrow because I'm feeling pretty scratchy right now. So th probably tomorrow has to be a day of rest, but there's a possibility there'll be some more CK3. Um, and on Wednesday, it might be Flight Sim, it might be CK3. We'll see. Maybe there'll be a poll. We'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks, everyone who came out. There were lots of you out here. If you're new, do make sure to follow here or go to youtube.com slash quill18 where I put up lots of videos. If you missed any of this, I'm going to be uploading the videos to YouTube like immediately. And as for now, please stick around and help me raid a kiss for luck who is going to be playing Crusader Kings 3. And, uh, you know, my mother-in-law, she's got a hook. What can I say? Let's give it a raid, folks. Thanks a lot. Give her lots of love. And I'm going to see you guys in a day or two. We'll see. It'll mostly depend on how my throat feels. And right now, it does not feel good. Bye-bye.